brought to you by Digikinator Fruit. This is the time of the week when Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you want on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week? This week! Okay, so this week we actually had a request. Uh, somebody emailed and said, I really liked that thin RG174 coax that you guys used to stock. We'd stock 10 feet for like, you know, five bucks. It was a good deal or six bucks. Um, I want more of it. So yeah, we used to stock this. I personally love this stuff. I actually remember in school using this uh, for a bunch of different projects because ultra, ultra thin coax. It's not, it's the same thickness as like 16 gauge wire, but it actually has two conductors. It has a shielding output and a um, center um, stranded core. And it's very flexible, very durable, weatherproofy, love the shielding. It was, I was using it for like passing RF signals around or like capacitive touch signal or something where I needed, I needed a ground wire along with it. Um, you know, used also, I'll tell you what it's often used for. Um, we have these like little thin RPSMA cables with very skinny coaxes. And here's another one, you know, very thin coax to handle RF signals. So definitely great if you're doing RF signals. I was using it for wearables because I needed to pass high speed signals around with um, with a ground wire and I wanted to be ultra, ultra flexible and like very durable and abrasion resistant. So, uh, but we don't stock it anymore because to be honest, we didn't sell very much. Um, so let's go to DigiKey and we can search and find it. So specifically, now of course I lost the page. The specific um, thickness they wanted was 1.2 millimeter. Which I think that is quite thin. So let's see, coax cables. And I don't think we want an assembly. I think we just want the raw cable. And then we have a sip of tea. We want it to be active, so we can still buy it, because obviously we don't want it to be um, discontinued. Um, one thing to watch for is conductor strands. Um, if you're passing like current, to, ooh, like wow, look, this is 140 gauge, 104, 105 strands. Um, this doesn't tell you the thickness because these are the individual inner strands. Like it's basically how flexible it is on the inside. Um, also, ditto wire gauge doesn't really tell you much. What we want to do is find the thickness jacket insulation diameter. Yes, this is the outer diameter. Um, you can see it gets quite thin, but let's see what can we get that's like 1.4 millimeters or thinner because I think he, the person who emailed, they said like 1.2 millimeters, but it seemed like they were a little flexible on how thick it could be. Okay, so the good news is that this basically like cuts out almost all of the options. Um, another question is what the impedance is. I'm gonna guess 50 ohms, but I, to be honest, I don't know. Sometimes you need 75 or 100, so I'm not going to select it. And then I'm gonna exclude marketplace. Although I don't think, yeah. I'll tell you one thing you don't want to select is in stock because a lot of times for cables and wires, DigiKey will cut the length you want from a much larger spool, like on demand. And so, um, you don't necessarily want in stock because it might be like the spool is in stock, but the individual cut wire isn't. And like, you just want to see like what's available. I'm just, I've just noticed. Um, and let's just say we do want Rojas. Okay. So let's see what's available. Okay. So micro coax is looking really cool. I like this clear look from Alpha. Um, another one, another one. So the only thing to watch for is, um, you can get like, you know, you normally you have to pay a lot to get a gigantic spool. So like 350 bucks on unusual, but you'll see stuff like this twin max. So from Molex, um, this is coaxial. Wow. Only like a hundred, sorry, one, 1.04 millimeter diameter, super thin for 88 cents a foot. It's just sold in feet. So like a really good deal. Um, and then different, yeah, 100 ohm, 100 ohm, 
I'm assuming they have a 50 ohm here somewhere. Let's do it from um, pricing. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, the cheapest you'll get is these ultra skinny 34 gauge 100 ohm um, twin X. And then they have another 100 ohm, 84 ohm. Um, now you're getting into spools. So this is a 10 foot spool. So it's actually like about the same price. And this is 10 feet of 50 ohms spiral. Wow, ultra thin, 0.5 millimeters. That's like so skinny, kind of scary. Um, let's say they only want 50 ohms, just so we can pare this down. And then for length, let's say we want only the cut foot type or 10 feet to so three meters. Okay, some good options. So, you know, the only thing is I didn't know what size they actually wanted um, because they mentioned like, you know, 1.2 millimeters, but I don't know if that was a specific width or not. So I'm gonna assume that they actually want that specific width. So if so, first off, there's a lot of other options. If you want a little thicker, um, this is available, but this one's in stock and it's 50 ohms and it's a little bit thinner, but maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna assume they actually want this specific thickness. And this is one foot. Well, it's one foot for $10. It's kind of expensive. Well, let's go back here. I'm gonna change my mind. Cause it's a continuous spool. And this is a spool of 10 feet. Oh, this is by meter. Oh, that's so bad actually. 20 bucks per meter. Well, it's still expensive. I think this is 10 feet, three bucks a foot. What's this one? Interesting, as it gets thinner, it gets a little cheaper. Let's actually go with this one. Because at least you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get 10, 10 feet. So it's three bucks a foot, it's not bad. And it's the thickness that they're looking for. Because it could be that they want to carry some current, 1.12 millimeters, and it's 50 ohms. So I think this is my pick from Alpha Wire, available in 10 foot spools. That's a great charge. Thanks, everybody. Where in the world is